fungal reproduction. In the kingdom fungi, they have distinct varieties of reproduction. The fungi can multiply in many numbers by development of spores. The vegetative reproduction in fungi, that is example is, the best one is yeast. The scientific name for yeast is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This yeast, they can undergo reproduction by fragmentation, fission and budding. Asexual reproduction, this can produce conidia or sporangiospores. By sexual reproduction, they produce oospore, zygospore, ascospore and basidiospore. The re reproduction process, it involves the fusion of protoplasm initially. This fusion of protoplasm, it is otherwise called as plasmogamy. After plasmogamy, the nuclei of the two cells, they become fused. This fusion of the two nuclei, it is called as karyogamy. After karyogamy, the zygote, it happens to undergo meiosis and this meiosis results in the final production of haploid spores. Thus, the fungal reproduction, it is summative. Plant kingdom. Till now, we have seen about the living world, the system of classification. Now, we have to see about into depth of the plant kingdom. The kingdom plantae, according to Carolus Linnaeus, he classified the flowering plants into 23 classes. These classes, it was based on the num presence of number of stamens. We all know that in plants, the male reproductive organ is called stamen and the female reproductive organ is called piston. And this, based on the stamens, the artificial system of classification of kingdom plantae was prepared by Carolus Linnaeus. The plant kingdom, it falls into two main categories, namely, one is penirogamy and the another one is cryptogamy. In penirogamy, all the flowering plants are being included. In cryptogamy, non-flowering plants are being included. In these non-flowering plants, there are three major types of uh, classes, namely, thalophyta, bryophyta and pteridophyta. This thalophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta, among these, here in the bryophyta community, they have red, brown and green algae. These three algae characteristics, they are given various colors by red, brown and green because they produce pigments like red color pigments, brown color pigments and green color pigments. These pigments are being present in the phycobilisome proteins and this is responsible for more number of chief producers in the water bodies. Gymnosperms and angiosperms. What is a gymnosperm? Gymnosperm, it corresponds to the vascular plants which can reproduce by naked seeds. These class are being called as gymnosperms. And angiosperms are all the flowering plants. These angiosperms, it can be divided into three main categories, namely annuals, biennials and perennials. That is, annuals, it means they can grow one year or they can survive for one year and biennials that is twice a year and perennials that is throughout the year. So based on this, the angiosperms, they can be divided into two main categories upon the presence of the seed cotyledon that is monocots and dicots. The best example for monocots is that cereals, bamboo and banana. The best example for dicots is that pulses, vegetables and fruits. Here one thing regarding the bamboo is that bamboo flower it flowers only once in the lifetime. This is being increasingly asked in the competitive exams, hence this trust. Economic importance of algae. What is the economic importance of algae? Algae, they are involved in carbon dioxide fixation. What is carbon dioxide fixation? The increasing amount of carbon dioxide and other gases like carbon monoxide, it causes global warming and other issues. Here the algae, it chiefly it is involved in the carbon dioxide fixation. Next thing, it increases the oxygen content in the atmosphere. Thirdly, it is a rich producer of energy rich compounds like they are utilized in all other rich supplements like the single cell protein which is produced by spirulina. It is being also used in the astronomical travel. Next thing is food. The pigments which is used in the cake and the other bakery industry, it is also produced from the algae and hydrocolloids that is the algin and carrageenan they are also used as a pigments they are also used in the nutritive media by production of agar the agar it is pr produced by gracilaria and gelidium all these species they produce the agar and these this agar 
it is the nutritive medium for the growth of the bacteria and other fungi and it is also used as food supplements that is as a source of vitamin source and the minerals source some definitions related to the plant kingdom first thing is heterospory what is heterospory the presence of more than one spores it is called as heterospory the best example for this type of heterospory condition is selaginella and salvinia next definition is protonema protonema means gametophytic phase of a mass the best example is funaria the male spore it is called as anthridium and the female spore it is called as archegodium algae the algae they are mainly classified as red algae green algae and brown algae the red algae it is otherwise called as rhodophyceae and the green algae it is otherwise called as chlorophyceae and the brown algae it is otherwise called as phaeophyceae here in red algae they are characterized with the presence of phycobilisomes and they are also possessing agar and carrageenan these two pigments or uh, are the ingredients of the agar algae in brown algae it is rich in algin and in green algae we also know that it is photosynthetic and the definition for rhizoids it is nothing but root like structures of bryophytes is termed rhizoids economic importance of algae we have already discussed the economic importance the algae nowadays are being used as a chief producer in the photosynthetic process this algae it is also used as biodiesel production and this algae research it is corresponding to more amount of alternative fuel sources like the hydrogen fuel cells etc now discussing about the asexual reproduction in algae there are several kinds of spores produced by the algae the first is zoospore the zoospore it corresponds to the flagellated motile spores the best example is elothrix next one is aplanospores they are non motile non flagellated example is boucheria next one is hypnospores they are thick walled non motile example is chlamydomonas autospores they are non motile example is chlorella there are endospores and exospores this is based on the presence of the spores either inside it is called endo and it is outside it is called exo there are monospores which is nothing but a single spore in a sporangium akinites correspond to the entire protoplast as a food reserve the best example is phytophora the last spore is tetraspore which is a resultant of meiosis the best example is dictyota bryophytes now we are going to deal with the classification of bryophytes the bryophytes are of four classes the first class is hepatisea in this hepatisea they grow mostly on the moist land of hill and rocks they are also called as liverworts the best example is risia the next class is anthocerate they are gametophytic phase compounds they are simple sporophyte and it is having a complicated structure it is also called as horned liverworts the third class is class massai it is consisting of erect flowering plants and the sporophyte it also constitutes three main parts namely foot seta and capsule this is about the bryophytes the bryophytes are the mainly the land plants which accumulate on the hills and rocks tracheophytes tracheophytes they are otherwise called as vascular plants these vascular plants they are aquatic in nature and they can do photosynthesis they have penetrating roots to absorb water the best example is fern the best example for a fern is the azolla which we can see in the rice fields this azolla it is a fern and it has mutualistic combination with the cyanobacteria called as anabena azolla these two are mainly involved for the plant growth promotion of rice fields and the classes of tracheophytes include the first class is xylopsida which comprises of primitive vascular plants the next class is lycopsida it consists of club mosses the next class is sphenopsida it consists of horsetail plants the next class is pteropsida which includes ferns so these tracheophytes are the vascular plants which are seen in the vast area of the land sporophyll this sporophyll it is not exactly a leaf like structure but it is a modified specialized structure 
it has two main types called microsporophyll and megasporophyll. These microsporophyll are clustered and they form cone shaped structures called strobilus and the seeds are attached to the cone surface. This is the nature of sporophyll. 